Can you hear me, Mr. Smith? Yes, I can. All right, good morning. How you? I am doing great, and I hope you got your audio right this time. Yes, it's right. It's right. <laughs> okay. We're gonna get it started. Hello, my name is Ian. North Carolina Central oh, University. You and Mr. George Smith, Associate AD for Facilities and Operations Management and Director of Strength and Conditioning here at North Carolina Central University. Um, this, can you describe your major activities in a typical work week for me? A typical work week um, is not typical. Uh, it can vary depending on the year, depending on the month, depending on the week, and depending on the day. Um, for instance, we are toying now when it comes to game management. Um, we're wrestling with looking at a possible spring game and dealing with North Carolina a and baseball game on the same day of April, April 10th. Well, how do we handle that logistically? Well, we're working on uh, those logistics to handle that issue. Uh, Strength and conditioning, you know, we're dealing with over 300 student athletes every day. Um, it just depends on their season, out of season. And then, uh, you know, with facilities, maintaining the facilities to a standard that's going to situate and make things better for the student athletes. So it just depends on the day, uh, again, the time of the year and the month as to what's going on. All right. What skills, abilities, and personal qualities do you find most important in your work? Um, obviously, you have to have the knowledge, but I think the biggest I said is uh, people skill. You're dealing with people every day. You're dealing with uh, various nationalities, various background, various statuses. And so you have to be able to uh, meaningfully deal with these people on on a daily basis and treat to everyone equal all right all right how did you enter this field it's a long story um it's it's i i entered the field uh on longevity um my natural or my calling is strength and conditioning um by nature um by cho being chose and what I'm saying about being chose, uh, I think I was placed in this position for a reason, and so I was chosen. But uh, strength and conditioning uh, led me to where I am now. Strength and conditioning is the foundation of my professional career, um, and being involved with athletics through strength and conditioning, and the longevity that I've had have led me to the position that I'm in now, being an administrator in athletics. All right. What suggestions do you have for someone wanting to enter this field? Well, get all the secondhand experience that you can, volunteering, uh, interviewing, asking questions, um, and, and getting to know people. Um, there's a saying, you know, it ain't what you know, but who you know, that is important. It's definitely important. Uh, if you get to know someone that's in a certain position, that can change your life or, or, or give you an opportunity that is good. So you have to meet people. Um, you, you have to get your hands dirty. Uh, just jump in and learn uh, the trade uh, or to see if there's something or the direction that you want to go. Uh, but but it's important that I think you get to meet people and, and, and just ask a lot of questions. All right. What do you like most about your job? You. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean by you, Mr. Bar uh, Mr. Barnes, is is that without student athletes, I'm no one. Uh, right. Without student athletes, uh, I don't get to be bulldog. Uh, without student athletes, I don't wake up every morning with, with a smile on my face and joy and looking forward to going uh, going to work. Um, so I love what I do. I have a passion for what I do, and I love working with student athletes. I work, I love and enjoy uh, positively impacting young people's lives. All right. Um, what days, hours do you work, and how does that, how does that type of work affect your lifestyle? 
Well, there's not an effect, um, but my lifestyle. Let, let, let me let me back up. Um, my working hours, yes, affect me. It's a it, it affect my life, but it affect me in a positive way. As I just mentioned, that working with student athletes, time doesn't bother me. You know, it depends on, again, depends on the time of the year. I could work 80 hours, even close to 100 hours. It just depends. You know, if we have a football game, you know, um, I'm here early in the morning. If it's a night game, I'm here early morning to set up and may leave 10, 11 o'clock at night. Um, so hours then don't bother me. And because the enjoyment, the fulfillment that I get, from doing what I do and working with people, working with young people in particular. Uh, when I can get a, a, a student athlete to smile, telling them a crazy joke, you know, just being bulldog with them, that's gratifying. That is, that is my gratification. And then a lot of the younger student athletes don't get to know me until after they see me interact with the older kids. Um, so right. these long hours, doesn't it doesn't affect me i make time for my family um because family is important um i would never let anything get in the way of, of family um the way that i was raised there's nothing more important than family even though this job allow me to support my family nothing takes the place of my family right right well i appreciate your time today I think that concludes today. And once again, thank you for your time today. I appreciate you giving me the time and opportunity to interview you. I hope you have a blessed, wonderful day, and I'll be seeing you soon. Thank you.